Let's go ahead and try this again. However, instead of 18 hits, let's try zero this time. Hmm? Perhaps we can beat the Aperture Randomizer without taking any damage. I'll try my best. Yeah, last run we, oops, backflip for funsies. We took 18 hits, so this time our goal is zero. Damn, remix. Hydro -dro 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 Storm. Okay, no damage tax is a little annoying. Starting off strong, everybody. Starting off strong. <sighs> Thank you, Dracula. Much appreciated. Jackass. All right, one hit. <laughs> Surely we can beat the game with just a singular hit. No big deal. God damn it. Thank you for the good luck, everybody. Appreciate it. <laughs> Wasn't Alucard. Doesn't count. True, actually. We got a sword that two hits. We have Medusa Shield from the start. Medusa Shield's actually quite good. Where are the zombies? Holy crap. No! I'm so bad at the game, dude. Why is my thing not working? There we go. Fine, fine, fine. Let's check this sword. Uh, Norman Curve Sword. All right, well, it's like slightly better, I guess. What's this silver ring? Plus 15 defense does literally nothing for us. And then that's Alucard. Okay. You're feeling sub 10 hits on this? I mean, we could uh, do a quick gamba if you guys want. I'm stuck here riding this boat, why not? For everybody in the Twitch chat. How many hits? Uh, let's go less, less than 10, or 10, or more. There you go, have fun, you little degenerate gamblers. Starting off with Echo, interesting. Watch out for the boat splash. I'm well aware of the boat splash. I'm going, going to be sitting as far forward as possible to hopefully, you know, I'll just, yeah, there we go. And then maybe in the middle this time, and we'll be okay. Surely I'll be fine. Why would anybody be scared of a little boat splash? A little boat splash never hurt nobody. Okay, I have to remember the zombies are gonna spawn and I have to worry about Slogger and Gaibon. <clears throat> I'm starting to think maybe going that route is not the best. But ideally, like if I find Soul of Bat at the start in that location, I think it's worth it. It's definitely not the fastest way to start a randomizer, but I feel like it's probably the most consistent. And as it turns out, one Tetra Spirit's all it takes to get rid of these guys, so. That is a weird little Easter egg that Sagar and Gaibon hang out there at the entrance if you don't kill them in Alchemy Lab.
those two. All right, Tooth of Vlad, we get a free strength boost. Fire shield, but it's not actually fire shield, so it's probably not worth. Thank you, Xandar. Appreciate the good luck. All right. It's definitely always worth checking this first since it's like right here. But it's a little scary, not gonna lie. We do want to make sure that we uh, avoid the fire. Uh, let's just kill him with the Tetra Spirit. Ooh, missed from the start. That's actually quite good. Kill the next one. Break the fire. Okay. Form of Mist is a fantastic starting relic. I'll take it. I guess killing them for the levels is quite nice, too. Tenchi, thank you for the sub. Make them your slaves. Greatly appreciate it. And I hope you're doing well. And gravity boots? Damn, this seed is crazy. If only I didn't take those two ridiculously dumb hits at the start. This would be going crazy right now. All right. One-shotting these guys, which is interesting. I guess my strength is pretty good. I did get the Tooth of Vlad to start with, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm gonna kill these books on the way up because they can be a problem. I'm not careful. There we go. There we go. Familiar. No! I'm fucking bad at the game, dude. I should have just got the familiar and used the iframes to kill them. Rookie mistake. What's up with my map? What's grayed out, but visible when not visited? Huh? The map is just there. I, I don't... The squares refer to locations that can have relics. For example, this green square is a location that can have a relic. So, just a thing on the map that you can check for that. Legendary Masamune. Well, that's good. We'll probably use that at some point. And in fact, we probably will use that versus uh, Lesser Demon. I'm interested. I'm interested in this. Sure, we'll buy a Demon Card. Mana Prisms for 8k. Gets stronger when bloodied. That's a good weapon. Enchanted floating sword. Pog champ. Transforms enemies into jewels. Uh, nothing too crazy yet. Plus 15 strength's nice. Seems to be it. Okay. Farewell for now. You just have part of the map unlocked uh, at the start in Aperture. That's all. All right, let's go beat up Lesser Demon. Uh-oh. The Flea Man lives. I'm making extra sure I'm not dying to those motherfuckers. 
This guy, however, is a pain in the ass. I don't think there's much you can really do about him. In fact, I sh probably should just do this. Nice quarter circle forward attack, dummy. God damn it. My quarter circle forward didn't go through. Unfortunate. Uh, and the seeds produced by the bot on the Discord, yes, they will be randomized. The colors for your gravity boots. Okay, and Heart of Vlad. How many hits are you at right now? It's at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, and I have no magic. Dude, this sucks. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get past these guys. Probably just summon spirit one at a time. Yeah, the Gremlin uh, levels are quite nice. <sighs> the library early can be quite scary. I've definitely beaten the game without weapons before. There's an entire randomizer preset that does not drop any items. And I've beaten that preset many times. So I'm good. Uh, we can do this check out of logic. I don't expect everybody who's ever watched me to know every single challenge I've already done, but I've been speedrunning this game for like 10 years, so any challenge you can think of, I've probably already done. Okay, I should be able to make it through here. It's just gonna take a little while. What? 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 Oh, I'm gonna run on magic. Yep. <laughs> well, while I wait for my magic to refill, uh, I'm gonna go grab some water real quick. Hope you're right back. We do not need that. No, no. <laughs> so you guys um see any good movies lately, or um, you guys uh any any book readers? 
how's how, how's the weather for for you for you guys? If you're watching this on Dragon Blitz Daily, let me know in the comments. How's the weather? Oh my god! Come on, man. I'm trying to not lose MP when I do this. But it's tough to do. You have to basically press mist into mist within uh, like a few frames. Let me out! I'm so close! We've been here for like two minutes! Free! Alucard! Come on! What is this bullshit? Alucard, you get out! Jesus Christ, man! Yeah, I'm never doing that again. Jesus fucking Christ! Anyways. Back to playing the game. <laughs> Love the PSX game, fellow trash enjoyer. That reminds me, I randomly stumbled upon um, a YouTube channel. It's pretty niche. And this is how I know YouTube's fucking algorithm can be absolutely insane sometimes. But it's a YouTube channel entirely dedicated to, like, play old PlayStation 1 games and particularly obscure PlayStation 1 games. Uh, the channel's called Sean Shonson, shouts out. And, like, boy, oh boy, I thought I knew a lot about random PS1 garbage. But a huge blind spot that I have is a lot of the PAL only, the European only releases that I never even had a chance to like know about. Um, he's reviewed a lot of those and boy oh boy, what the fuck were they cooking up in the European Union in the PS1 era? Holy shit, dude. 50 Hertz will ruin a motherfucker's brain, I swear to God. What were you what was what were the Europeans cooking? What were they cooking? Euro jank is a, a coin term. It, it's crazy. I'm just in awe at the at the shit that was um considered accept acceptable. Dude, this is probably like the worst combination of relics because of how much magic it costs to do anything. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to come back to fight what's his name. Wow, blue knuckle. More like blue. Never mind. I'm not making that joke. You can fill it in yourself. Europe games are still a thing. They shouldn't be. Someone should have taken away the European uh, license to make video games. Apparently the reason for 50 Hertz was that people who created PAL wanted to fix NTSC issues but didn't know what they were doing. That is not the case, but that sounds like a really cool fan fiction that you got going on in your head. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this in case we find wool. Huh. 
We didn't make Balan Wonderworld? Oh, okay. <laughs> we make trash with redeeming qualities? I would argue the shit I've seen on Sean Johnson's goddamn YouTube channel, some of it is irredeemable. Like, what was the, what were Europeans thinking? for their style of 2D platformer, man. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's like every 2D platformer is like a more jank and more absurd version of Rayman. Oh, I can't go this way because I don't have a jewel open. God damn it, I was hoping for a library card. Wasn't the reason for Pal the... Yeah, it's the electricity. Um, uh, voltage, right? Or amp ampage? Amperage? Something. I don't know. Something, something, electricity. Something, something, Europe. Different electricity. Their electricity flows uh, backwards. I don't know. I didn't see a relic because there was none there. Cool. Uh, this is rough. Um, I don't know. I'll check what I can, I guess. The real question is why were game mechanics tied to frame rate? That's still a thing to this day for some games. What are you talking about? What? What? Oh, come on. What was he doing there? An axe armor. Acting like he owns the place. Why are you going after the dead guy? Summon spirit, kill the guy who's not dead yet. Thank you. Okay, well, we found the portal spell. So now... Uh... Our options are go to Alrox's quarters, go to the mines, and then catacombs, or go to Scylla. I think we saved Scylla for last, maybe. Increases magic attack power. Probably worth, honestly, because magic attack power is quite good. Not bad. Is this a rando? Yes. This is a rando. Yeah, let's go all Rox's quarters, I guess. I th thought it wasn't pros to do rando in 
a second. I don't know what you mean by that. I'll, I'll talk to your mom later, Grim. Calm down. She knows I'm good for it. Which enemy sound bites are my least favorite? You thought it wasn't possible to do randomizer in Soden? The randomizer has been out for like almost four years now. Is it over four years now? Oh, there's definitely been randomizers for this game for a very long time. So I don't know where you heard that. Yo, what up, scroller? Welcome. If I'm gonna do all rocks, I should refill my MP. Oh my god. I... Whatever. I'll check this item, I guess, while I'm waiting. Lapis Lazuli. Let me guess. Yeah, sellable. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I could probably get away with fighting all our ox. What's my damage looking like? Well, I have the Masamune, actually. Yeah, we're fine. We can fight all rocks with the Masamune. Oh, God. Platforming is very hard. All right. Okay. We didn't lose that much magic there. What? Yeah, Masamune is very good. Do have any other swords that I could switch this out for? Not really. Damn. We're really low on uh, weapons right now. Well, there's our wolf. Which will make getting out of here a lot easier. Thanks for the good luck, appreciate it. Rune Sword. It's actually just Rune Sword. All right, I'm actually gonna put that on. Very, very good utility weapon. And then Talisman. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but we'll put it on. Is there a mod that makes any item uh, sellable? No, that does not exist. Well, I love waiting for my magic to regen. I'm glad you enjoyed the video.
Always happy to have people uh, checking out the, the videos on the main YouTube channel. Dracula Tunic. That ain't good. Where becomes an axe knight? Oh. Hoggers. Uh. Well, shit. It's either Scylla or Grand Floon. I guess we'll go Grand Floon. Stay away from me. Stay away. Um, I'll grab it. It's probably just a sellable, right? Yeah. I don't think there's any reason to use the axe armor versus any of the bosses coming up. Ruby Circlet is standard adventurer's helm. I mean, it increases my strength, so why not? But I was hoping for an actual Ruby Circlet. That'd be nice. Oh, damn it. I knew it was going to happen. I was trying to transform into mist earlier to avoid that. All right, six. We have three hits left if we want the Believers to walk away with some uh, channel points here. Let's see. Sword named Harper. I mean, it's better than what I got right now. Better hitbox. That was a little risky. Okay, well. <sighs> God damn it. I just wanted to do these item checks. Should've just killed that guy immediately. Wow, so worth it. Thank you, Magic Missile. Yeah, not worth. Oh my God, what the fuck, man? Very frustrated. magic to get past this area because seriously fuck this area this is why i didn't want to do grand Falloon, man this area is so annoying Probably still PB, but what up, Eldritch? Yeah, okay. So now we have, what is that, two more checks available. Is 1-8 KO a new randomizer setting? No, it is not. Um, 
Yeah, let's just do it this way. Grand Flynn is the hardest boss if you kill it wrong. True, actually. be a neat setting to have. I mean, it wouldn't be difficult to program in. You just have to... Oh, well, maybe it would actually be difficult. Every time I've done it, I've just used a cheat code to set Alucard's HP to zero. I really don't think there's a reason to do Scylla right now, so I'm not going to do it. This seed sucks ass, by the way. It had, a pro it had a promising start, but boy, oh boy, did it uh, fall off of a fucking cliff immediately afterwards. Um, Yeah, we do this. Because we need to do Gravity Boots, and we need to do um, Skill of Wolf. Well, sorry, believers. Fucking shit, man. I cannot stand this game sometimes. I'm just trying to do a fucking summon spirit input, and the game's just like, no. No, you can't do that. Whatever, man. I'm sure we'll also get better at figuring out strats to deal with some of the more bullshit enemies as I get more practice doing this. Alright, nothing here. I feel like we have to find... Well, we haven't found flight yet, actually. Oh, so that means flight is at Scylla, isn't it? No, it could be here, actually, because this is gravity boots locked. I should have realized. Um, yeah. I'm sure makes for interesting routing. Yeah, that's one way to put it. On the bright side, we at least get to, I don't know, traverse more of the castle or something. Actually, no, not really. We're just warping around the castle. How are the runs going today? Honestly, pretty bad. It is my first time trying to do a challenge like this with these settings, so I guess it's to be expected that things would go poorly to start. I should grab this. But man, I am uh, getting owned in very annoying ways. And I would like for it to stop. Holy symbol. So it is Scylla. Scylla is the last check available. God damn it, game. 
At least we can warp there, kind of. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, this seed is doo-doo ass and bad. Uh, we're warping. Uh, I guess I can do out of logic, uh, entrance. Just in case I find something here. Well, that was worth it. Huh. So this guy mourning the owl has an infinite Y-axis tolerance, I guess? The bird was up on the... Whatever, man. I... I guess everyone grieves in different ways. Who am I to judge? Well, now I know that Scylla is just Leapstone, which does not matter. Leapstone's great, but I don't need it. I could go to Spike Breaker, I guess. Sure, I'll go do Spike Breaker. Since Bat was flight locked, and Spike Breaker is Bat locked. Gives me a higher chance of finding a um, relic, I think. Or a useful relic, I should say. Honestly, I'm gonna... I kind of want to just ban save splitting outright. I'm just gonna not save split, that's fine. Because I feel like if I allow save splitting, I'd save split like every location so I don't have to backtrack at all and risk taking more damage, which feels very lame to me. So to prevent that from being the optimal strategy, I'm just not going to allow it. So no save splitting. Zircon? These nuts. Okay. Thank you. Extra 15 strength. That's another sellable. Yeah, that's why I figured it would be Holy Glasses anyways. And a library card. I think that library card is always there, right? I think that's part of the preset. Um. It's probably not worth using the library card yet. I probably want to save it for coming back to the first castle, perhaps. No! Such a dumb way to take damage, man. I'm so mad. Like, every single time I take a hit, it's never like, ah, okay, my bad. It's always just, man, fuck this. Such a dumb way to take, God, it's so annoying. And it is my bad. It is me being bad at the game, but it's, I don't know. If I got hit by like a tricky attack from like an enemy, maybe, I wouldn't feel as bad, but just like walking directly into spikes like a goddamn idiot feels so annoying. 
And the thing is, is usually when it comes to speed running, especially a randomizer, you just don't care if you make small mistakes like that because it doesn't matter. You're not going to die. But now it's like, damn. The number of dumb mistakes is visible for all to see and is being kept track of. Definitely does not feel great. Uh, yeah, Grand Falloon had, uh, Jewel of Open. <sighs> I mean, I can go get Leap Stone real quick, I guess. There's no reason not to at this point. Grab the gauntlet. Is it literally plus five attack? Okay. Welcome, Robster. Can you get down here, please? There's Spike Breaker, which means Leafstone is at Silver Ring? Oh my god! The intended route for this seed is god awful! It just keeps getting worse, man! Holy shit, dude. I can't believe it. Uh, whatever. At least we didn't have to actually do the intended route because that would have been miserable. Gorgeous blue cape. Let's find out if it's actually blue or not. Powerful sword of flame. That's actually quite good. Um, I don't think that cat. I wouldn't call this blue. I thought the randomizer wasn't supposed to lie about the descriptions of its items. Hmm. Seriously, I might as well do a 200.6% speed run. Well, that's nice to have. Uh, it's just second castle time. There's nothing else left to do, really. Thank you, Devil Ants. Appreciate the kind message. I'm glad you enjoy the, uh, the YouTube. Thank God we got the snorkel. Sorry for the English from Brazil. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you made it to a stream. Whatever. Just... 
Just get me out of here, man. <laughs> I love the door invincibility. Yeah, we just go to Second Castle. Whew. No reason not to. Yeah, the door iframes in particular can be very useful, especially in that room. We'll do these items. It's a cool looking obsidian sword you got there. Bronze cure ass. It's just a bronze cure ass, okay. I kind of want to increase my magic attack power, I'm not going to lie. I won't worry about this. I don't need the spike breaker, really. And then Nunchaku is actually German two-handed sword. Okay. And we need stone mask. Trust me, there's more than just three Brazilians here. On any give, at any given moment, about 40% of my audience is Brazilian. At least according to the YouTube stats, and I imagine my Twitch stats aren't much different. Brazilians just love Soten, it's true. It's very true. I don't blame them. The rumors are true, yeah. Rumors c finally came to light. Turns out Brazilians like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Is that a sellable, Noglamir? Yeah, it is. We got Alucard Mail and Mystic Pendant. Another sellable, Alucard Mail, Holy Mail. Strong versus Holy Attacks, and then sub weapons increase strength. Okay. What up, Blue Man? New sub goal for me to learn Portuguese. Yeah, once we hit... Uh, 60,000 Twitch subs. I'll become fluent in Portuguese. That seems like a fair sub goal, right, guys? Sure, you don't have to unlock the warp room. Oh yeah, just speed run muscle memory. I was just checking the warp room to make sure it's you know nothing bad happened to it. Hey yo, is that a karma coin? Can I get there in time? Uh, I was gonna set up a karma coin gamba, but now I can't. Oh well. Whatever. Uh, I mean, there's no reason to not go this way, I guess. And all my magic is gone. That goes to show how difficult it is to use Wolf in Power of Wolf in the normal game. Lycanthrope made it so much more viable to use Wolf movement. Because losing that much magic for one room because you just hit a bunch of candles is so lame. Oh, 
All right, not bad. Well, I only have one library card crazy, and I'm saving it to go back to the first castle. If I had another library card, then I would uh, probably do that route. There's a guaranteed library card at Gallimaw. Damn, okay, Aperture. I didn't realize that this was a baby preset for babies that gave out a bunch of free library cards. My bad. Back in my day, you had to get lucky to get your library cards. Uh, spike breaker. But that is good to know that I will be getting a library card at Galmoth. Two guaranteed Galmoth and Spike Breaker. Cowards. Giving away free library cards. You know, even with all the dumb hits that we took, it wasn't too bad, all things considered. And this seed was definitely a lot worse than the other seed, so we still have the potential to PB here. Medusa had. His boss is so lame for a second castle boss. You say that until you get hugged. Everyone talks shit about Aquadon until he grabs you and spins you around 12 times. Then all of a sudden he's the hardest boss in the game. Half the second castle bosses are kind of lame. Every boss in this game is kind of lame. This game's not about... God damn it. It's bosses. I was trying to transform into mist, but it wasn't accepting my input. Mistimed it. Oof. A little risky, but... We play a little risky around these parts. That's not what I fucking... I hate the quarter circle input in this game. It doesn't make fucking sense, man. Like, how is that a quarter circle, man? Okay, cool. Cool! What hit me, game? What hit me? Holy shit, man. God fucking damn it. The ice was completely gone, and I still got hit by it. Oh, uh, that was three hits, actually. Fucking shit, man. Dude, I don't want to go back to the first castle for this. I'm so mad. Genuinely furious. How did I get hit three times for that stupid boss fight? Surely that's not actually... Okay. Well, it's Alucard Sword. In fact, I might switch. Because if I do a fucking quarter circle forward attack on accident, at least I teleport and am invincible. Instead of that bullshit. 
I probably should have just been using this Masamune the whole time, to be honest. I forgot I had it. I should have just been using the Masamune. Next time, I need to remember to use Masamune if I have it. Are all right, no, no hits tries Aperture? Yes, I'm doing Aperture because I think it, in my mind, Aperture seems like the more interesting way to try and do a no hit challenge because it's very different and we'd be, you know, we have a lot more open um, opportunities for routing. But Aperture is uh, kicking my ass. Dank Shield. Aperture Science? <laughs> Matt McRiver finally gets the, the reference as to why it's called Aperture. I'm going to it jump off of a fucking building in safely onto a, a mat of pillows. Fucking hell, man. All for nothing. The cake is a lie. Guys, can we just grow up? All right. It's not, it's right here. What are you talking about? We have cake at home. It's not a lie. It's real. We have more cake right here even. See? Cake is a lie. Come on, guys. That cake is short. We don't height shame, okay? Come on now. Um, did you know that uh, the cake is a lie? LOL XD. I am very funny and unique. Knuckle Duster? I barely know her. Ugh. Why is this so hard to... Is there something to this? There we go. That's what I was trying to do, because I thought it would be funny. Anyways, enough messing around. Nothing! Woo!
Really? So annoying. It is cool being able to move the map tiles around <laughs> and create new obstacles. That is by far and away the coolest part about Aperture, for sure. I feel like Aperture will favor computing complexity. Uh, Aperture will reward the luckiest person. Uh, not yet, Death In. Uh, we hit the requirements for this month for Partner Plus. So we have one more month left to go. So at the start of December, all the subs from December will count towards my last um, month working towards Partner Plus, so. So as long as we hit the December requirements, we will get it. Yeah, the person who wins a race of Aperture is the person who guesses correctly. Because there are many moments where picking a route is completely arbitrary. You'll have a bunch of 50-50s, so all you have to do is just guess correctly on those 50-50s and you win. It's that simple. I'm going to use Mist and Power of Mist because this room's scary. That's probably my biggest complaint about Aperture as a preset in general. It's a lot of fun to play, but I would not be happy racing, it, if that makes sense. Because if I win, it just feels like, okay, I must have just gotten lucky. Thank you, Dive Kick, for fucking taking care of that guy. And if I lose, it's like, well, I didn't get lucky. Realistically, I feel like that's what it will come down to for the most part. Because you could create routes especially early game there are already a lot of routing ideas that are divergent that should be quote unquote optimal but all it takes is one person to just get lucky doing a suboptimal route for you to just instantly lose which is fine uh, not every randomizer preset has to be perfect for racing there are plenty of presets that I think are cool that are not interesting uh, race presets. And Aperture happens to be one of them. Jesus Christ. I think it's just the idea of shaking up routing decisions most of the time just leads to less competitive races, which is fine. Again, like not everybody's looking to race because they want to be the best. They just want to have fun playing the game and racing against other people just adds an extra layer of fun for some people. Even if it doesn't mean that like the person racing or the person winning the races on average is like the best player. Which is fine. It's too different for most people. It's not the issue of being different. That's not the issue. The issue is that there is no, or it is a less consistent race preset. Allowing for lesser skilled players to win more often than higher skilled players. 
And that's just what happens. And like randomizer in and of itself is on the spectrum of allowing lesser skilled players to beat more skilled players because of the added additional rel uh, random elements. Like that's normal. That's like almost by design. But it exists within a spectrum and you can create more random elements, which makes it more likely for lesser skilled players to win, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would argue the fact that it's different is not the issue. <sighs> okay, so... It's guaranteed that Merman statue has Silver Ring, which leads to Final Vlad Relic. You hold down to get to the inverted library. I guess the guaranteed library cards do normalize certain routing ideas, but still. And what was that sword? Oh, it's just Ice Brand. Like I said, I love the preset. I think it's a great idea and I'm happy it exists. But I wouldn't be interested in like racing it in a competitive setting. It's basically just like a tournament, really. Like, if there was a tournament of this, I would not be interested. Did I open this up already? I have not. Damn it. Well, there goes all my magic. If everything goes well, we will... We have a chance to PB here by one. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <sighs> Had to say something. I also understand that my um, opinions about what makes for a better competitive experience in Randomizer tend to be a little bit more extreme for some people. And also some people just have dog shit opinions that are objectively bad, but they don't want to accept that their opinions are objectively bad, but that's fine. It happens. Oh my God, this Randomizer is dog shit. So Silver Ring was vanilla that led to Leapstone at Holy Glasses? Oh my god, we skipped like six layers of complexity. By, not, by never trying to grab the Leapstone. Fucking Christ, man. What a bad seed. Uh, where was the warp again? Was it in the library for this seed? I think so, right? Or is this the one where it was in uh, Alchemy Lab? It's in Alchemy Lab. Library was last seed. I don't know if it's faster to go to the warp and then warp to entrance or not. It's probably about the same.
Yeah, it's a soccer and Gaibon. Fuck them, flea man. Ultra fortunate 261. Turns out to be a very unfortunate seed, yes. Well, can't even tie PB. Whatever, man. The seed was so bad. I don't even feel bad about taking more hits. It's either Chrysogram or Awesome Mune. I think Chrysogram Rune Sword's probably better. I mean it's like it's Alucard Sword Rune Sword, but still. Do I have a strength potion? No. All right. Whatever, ma'am. Surely the next seed can't be worse, right? We're getting the bad seed out of the way now. So the next seed will be good. Surprised I wasn't enough to one cycle. That hit me. That's annoying. Whatever. Back Twenty hits. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. Oh well. We'll try it again. How? How? Surely it doesn't How go poorly it again. So defeated. Uh, but if you're watching on you YouTube and you made it all the way to the end, you thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget love. to subscribe. It means a lot. Huh. And I'll see you in the next YouTube video on Dragon Blitz Daily. Bye-bye.